Hello, Scorpio. We are going to do a twin flame reading today. Okay. If you do not have to resonate as a twin flame, it can just be whomever you're thinking about while watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, if you would like to be entered to win a free personal reading, you're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section down below. Hashtag twin flame. Okay. And again, doesn't have to be um, that you resonate as a twin flame. Okay. Not everybody does. Okay. Also, if you'd like to book a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box below. Um, along with some other useful information, I suggest you check that out. Okay. This is a general reading, Scorpio. It cannot and will not resonate for everyone. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Check those other placements, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, especially Venus, because that is how we present in relationships. All right. Time is fluid. There is no gender in tarot. Roles can be reversed. Um, I'm going to put you on one side, your person on the other. A lot of times we get a mix of both people's energies on both sides. All right. Let's do it. Bottom of the deck. We have the chariot, Cancerian energy there. All right. We've got the ace of wands and the knight of pentacles. We've got the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. We've got the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords. The Five of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. The World and the Devil. All right, with that chariot on the bottom of the deck. So we have a lot of kind of um, a little bit of like chaotic energy. Fives in tarot are about change. This is going to be a story of overcoming something. That is just how I feel. Okay. So for this Ace of Wands, okay, the Ace of Wands is that staff of new beginnings, right? All that potential growth, potential for new opportunities, potential for happiness, potential for expansion. So, you know, when we see that, you know, somebody wants a new beginning, a passionate new beginning with opportunity for expansion, for growth, for success, for new beginnings. What is this Ace of Wands for Scorpio? The Knight of Swords. In pursuit of that. In pursuit of that. In pursuit of their four of wands. Yeah. I mean, you can't make this up. So next to it, we have that knight of pentacles. What is this knight of pentacles? the chariot. So this person, the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, but they have everything planned. They have a backup plan. They have a backup, the backup plan. They have everything they need to get where they're going every single time. They're not going to get there the fastest, but the knight of pentacles with the chariot tells me that this person is very prepared and now they're moving much quicker and the universe is in favor of them moving, you know, full steam ahead. Ace of Swords. Yeah. Um, they are ready to cut through any drama. You know, they're enlightened. They're great at communication. They have this vision for expansion, for truth, for information. They want a new beginning in truth. The Ace of Swords, some consider it to be the swift hand of God. Okay. So here we have the Page of Pentacles. This is a, certainly a solid offer. Yeah, you. The, we have the Neon Awakening card. That is the only extra card in this deck, but it is a twin flame reu reunion. This Knight of Pentacles has reached his goal um, and is offering, you know, offering up that pinnacle because they are awakened to this connection. I think the other person involved, whether that's you or not, I think they are also. Here's the problem. We've got somebody coming in between them. They may be in another relationship or another connection, um, but somebody is not in favor of this. The Knight of Pentacles is this Page of Pentacles. He's shown up, awakened, enlightened to this to this to this union, this connection, but he's being greeted with this Knight of Swords energy. Somebody's chasing him off. 
Could be, it could be your person. It doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm just making a mess here. What do I have going on here? I need to turn that over. That's what it was. Okay. So this Knight of Swords energy is like chasing him back down the driveway, right? The lovers. The person that's that's chasing someone away is in a connection with your person or with you. And you're going to have a choice to make. That's what this lover's card is about. It's making a choice. But, you know, if you are um, in, a, in a twin flame connection with this person, that Knight of Swords doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, the High Priestess. They may not not they may not know who this other person is, but I feel like they do feel like shook. They want to keep they want to keep you know this this relationship with this person, whether it's you or your person, okay, whomever is in the relationship. They're happy, but they're willing to be deceptive and deceitful to maintain that happiness, which isn't going to fly. Two of Wands, yeah, somebody's going to make a choice. And it's not going to be the person who's being deceptive. So, you know, figure out who you are in this equation. The four swords. They are going to want to heal that connection. They're thinking about it. They're not speaking about it yet, but they're thinking about it. And they've already made their choice. And this person that's in the seven of swords energy, this, you know, I will be deceptive to, to keep my relationship. Is about to get schooled with the Hierophant. They're about to learn a hard lesson, hard truth. Yeah, somebody's going to end it. They're going to, Ten of Swords, that relationship is going to end and it's going to end painfully because they were sneaky, right? Causing drama, causing drama, right? And now they're out in the cold. I think this person is, is going to be real mad and is going to cause some drama. It's what I see here with this Five of Wands, this drama. Yeah, coming, trying to come in between you and your person. Hi, Phoebes. Hi, what you doing? What you doing, Phoebes? You say hi? Huh? What you doing? Yeah. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Go lay down. Yeah, they're trying to cause drama coming between this connection. Trying to get their way. Eight of Wands. Here's the thing, though. They may even be making, you know, making up fake Facebook statuses or fake Facebook pages or, you know, just doing anything to interfere because they're out in the cold. They got froze out because they were lying, right? Page of Swords. This person is watching, 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 watching. I feel like they're getting more mad by the day. That's what I feel like because it ended and they're not accepting that. This reconciliation has happened. You guys are building a new life, okay? And this person feels stabbed in the back. Um, even though, you know, it was going to happen this way from the beginning, not that either one of you knew that, but you can't, you know, you can't compete with a, with a twin flame connection. So now you guys are going about your day, right? Living your life. Yeah, two of cups, three of pentacles, you've reconciled. You're just kind of moving forward. And this person is over here just seething. Uh, you guys are destined to be together. The star card. I like it. This person that's in this 10 of swords energy feels like this was very personal, feels stabbed in the back, feels betrayed. Um, they're in this toxic devil energy also, which I do not like. The ace of wands. They are still, um, they still, um, especially sexually really want to be with whomever it was that kicked them to the curb. They're not letting go of that. They're not letting going of, they're not letting go of that. Yeah. They're manifesting a new beginning. It's not going to work clearly, but I feel like they're just being underhanded. So here we have the world card, successful completion of a cycle and the devil. This person is not successfully completing this cycle. Their karma is, is 
continuing on because they won't release it. They won't let it go. This person may be bound to cause some problems. And I don't necessarily like to hear it, but if that's what has to, if that's what's coming through, then somebody needs to know. Hermit. Yeah, they're really in, in, in a dark place in their mind. Just, you know, pay attention, be aware of your surroundings, know what's up. All right, so this devil, here we have this devil. Knight of Cups came out. So I feel like this person is going to maybe come towards you and say, oh, you know, that so-and-so that you got back together with did this, did that, said this, said that. I think they're going to be telling lies, trying to get you to believe them so that you'll go back to them. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're just not moving on. They're not moving on. They're very, very stuck on this person that... that that left them. King of Swords. Hold, calculated, cunning. So the Chariot and the Two of Pentacles. So you guys may need to weigh your options about how you want to move forward with this. You do have a new beginning, right? There's a lot of passion. You guys want to heal this connection. You've thought about it for a long time. And there is a reconciliation, a successful reconciliation. Okay, again, a twin flame reconciliation. No more secrets, no more lies. But this person that you set packing is watching. I would just be careful. Just be aware. You're aware now. Okay, I, I mean... You know, when you're talking about the human condition, really anything can happen. <laughs> so just keep your eyes open. Stay on alert. Okay. What I really want you to know, though, is that this, when this connection comes together, it's going to be truly beautiful. So you're going to, you're going to know that. All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. And I'm sending you tons of love and light and safety until next time.